Hello, I'm Timothy Priscilla, and today my class and I are working on some business calculus. We're finding derivatives using the generalized power rule. Let's see what the problem says. The cost of producing X bags of dog food is given by C of X equals 900 plus the square root of the trinomial 400 plus 5X squared minus X, where X is bounded between 0 and 5,000. Find the marginal cost function. Okay, marginal. When you see that phrase marginal, what should you think? Derivative. The derivative, so we're going to have to find the derivative of the cost function. Let me write down that cost function. We have a 900 plus, uh-oh, if we're going to differentiate a radical, what do we need to do? Rewrite it. Rewrite it using an exponent, so it's 400 plus 5x squared minus x to the one-half power. And we have a quantity raised to power, so definitely we will need to use the generalized power rule, differentiating C prime of X. Let me move that over a little bit there. C prime of X, we have a sum. To differentiate a sum, we find the derivative of each of the terms. The derivative of 900 is yeah. just a zero. So. That 900 has gone to zero. That's nice. Here, using the generalized power rule, we take that one half, bring it down. We leave the inside function alone. What do we do to the one half to get the new exponent? Subtract one. One half minus one is a negative one half. And we still have to multiply by The, okay, the, well said. The derivative, we have to multiply by the derivative of the function inside the parentheses. So differentiating the stuff inside the parentheses, the derivative of 400, zero. zero okay, that's nice. The derivative of 5x squared, 10x, and minus 1. So we have a 1 half times a 400 plus 5x squared minus x to the negative 1 half times a 10x minus 1. And when you're punching that into my math lab, oh, let me move this over some, uh, wrong way there. My math lab will accept that as a final answer. That is an acceptable final answer. But let's suppose we wanted to, I know some of y'all dislike negative exponents, so we could pick that uh, uh, factor up with the negative exponent. We already have a fraction bar. Move it down there to the denominator. So we have the 2. We have the 400 plus 5x squared minus x. By moving it down, the negative exponent becomes positive. Where does the 10x minus 1 go? on top technically that one that goes the one right here goes on top too but one times 10x minus one is still just 10x minus one and i'm going to move this up a little bit and my math lab would accept this form also they would accept this form as well but i'm going to go ahead and write it using a radical we have a 10x minus 1 over 2. I'm replacing that exponent of 1 half with the square root. My math lab should accept either of those three boxed in answers as the final answer. And once again, this is Timothy Priscilla with his business with my business calculus class, just doing a little business calculus.